How do we perform circular interpolation in G-code programming? What is the difference between G2 and G3? What is the difference between IJ coordinates and XY coordinates? Stay tuned to find out. Circular movement in G-code is achieved by using the G2 and G3 commands. These commands direct the CNC machine to move along a circular arc from its current position to a new coordinate. The new coordinate can be either absolute or relative, depending on whether the machine is in G90 or G91 mode. When performing a full 360 degree circle, the end coordinate equals the starting position. In such a case, X and Y can be omitted or set to zero if you are in G91 mode. So, what is the difference between G2 and G3? With both commands, the machine will move from its current position to the same target coordinate. In G2, the movement will be clockwise, and in G3, it will be counterclockwise. G2 and G3 have two syntax formats. R format and IJK format. In both cases, X and Y define the movement's end position. When R is specified, the movement will be along an arc with a radius of R. When I and J are specified, they represent the arc center point, and the controller calculates the radius. If you are machining a full 360 circle, you must use IJ format, since there are infinite circles with the same radius that can start and end in the same position. Check out several program samples that demonstrate what we discussed on the Machining Doctor website. I will leave a link to it in the description below. If you have any questions, comment below and don't forget to like the video. See you in our next episode, where we discuss more machining terms.